I think I started to meet a lot of uh, progressive young Arabs through Palestinian solidarity work. So um, just going to events put on by people in Toronto, like the Toronto Arab Film Festival and the Coalition Against Israeli Apartheid, Attend attending their events and, uh, you know, just meeting people through that. Um, met a lot of queer people, but met a lot of straight people that had really, um, you know, open-minded views about that. Uh, so that was a real eye-opener for me. Not because I assumed that uh, people weren't open-minded, but because I really felt that I didn't need to just be queer in queer spaces and just be Arab in Arab spaces, that there was this kind of fluidity that happened. Um, and uh, honestly, it's not even something that I really consciously think about a lot because it's just that comfortable. Of course, here and there, I mean, I've had experiences where people will, not necessarily maliciously, but uh, you know, ask a lot of questions or be curious, like how can you be queer and Muslim or how you know how does that work and and does your mother know and stuff like that and and just um, I think people are, are curious and maybe don't approach it necessarily in the the most uh, politically correct way but uh, but that's okay too right because uh, I think I've also become more open to people asking me questions and even people challenging me on things um, because I feel more secure in my, my identity and because I don't feel like any part of me compromises any other, I'm, I'm able to approach that and just be like, okay, well, this is me. You can either, you know, take it or not.